Hi, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Um, thank you for joining. Hopefully this is a fun sew today. I am going to do the oxbow tote. So I think everybody knows what it is by now. It's pretty popular. It's been on everything. Um, yeah. We'll wait for this video to catch up so I can see how the view looks here. Hi, everybody. Okay. Um, as always, I will try to, I will try to take you along with me and it'll still be a tutorial. I'll still tell you how I'm doing everything, but I will also be here to chat. Um, and we're going to have a good time. So yay. I have been working hard trying to do pre-recorded videos, you guys. <laughs> I have. So, but today I just really just wanted to come on here and do it live because I kind of enjoy it. I just, I just enjoy going live. So if you guys saw my channel yesterday, I posted a video and I embroidered the front pocket of this bag. She's pretty. Um, the embroidery I got off of Etsy from uh, Stick Zebra Embroidery. And I've done one of her designs before on the Esmeralda. She just, I really, oh, the lighting. I really, really like her designs. They're great for vinyl because they're um, kind of light on the stitches. They're not very dense, which is great. It's great for bag making. Um, yeah, she just turned out so pretty. I'm excited. And then the material I am using for this one, uh, it's one of my favorite prints that I got. I will link it down below. I linked it on the embroidery video. I don't want to attempt to say the name because I always say it incorrectly. Um, she has gorgeous floral, um, of this floral print. I believe it is indigenous. It's Native American, um, which I am too. That's where my name comes from. Um, so I love using this print. It is so pretty. And yeah, I quilted it. I don't know. Here. Oh, let's do the back. There. I quilted it. It's just big old diamonds on it. It's uh, just pretty much to keep the foam on my piece i just did woven and foam i'm guessing if you wanted a really um a really sturdy bag you could do decaville light as well i'm thinking it would work i don't know i'm gonna do a couple steps different i'm gonna add a couple more pockets i'm echoing am i just echoing for you hazel <laughs> hmm I don't know why I would be echoing. That's weird. The sound is okay? Okay. Um, it might be because you have two, two things on at once if it's echoing. Anyways, um, I'm just doing foam. I'm doing Decaville heavy on the bottom piece with another foam piece. I am adding some extra pockets on the inside of the bag because it's a really big bag, so there's room for more pockets. That's not in the pattern. I'll just be adding those. And I will do the top stitch differently. She has you doing it at the very end. I'm gonna do it as I'm putting it together. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Are we ready? Are you ready to do this? Okay. All right, so I will kind of um, talk you through the pieces as we sew. And let's get going. Let's start this. You guys, I'm excited for this bag. I think it's going to be kind of amazing. And it's a big daddy. So huh, I'm going to run out of table space most likely. Hopefully we'll be okay. All right. Got my water. I made myself a breakfast sandwich before this. So we should be prepped in. I should be good to go for the duration. Um, all right, so the first thing I want to start with, pieces are so big, sorry. It's gonna take me a hot second. Um, I do want to do my base real quick. 
I did Decaville Heavy, like she has it in the um, pattern, but I'm also gonna add foam to this Big Daddy just because it's a big bag and I feel like the foam would be good in it. And I'm just gonna do some stitching and stitch this all down. The Decaville Heavy is already fused, but um, I'm going to stitch it all together with this foam. Does your thread work well through leather? Yes, it does. All right, thank you to everybody who's joining. I hope you're having a fabulous Friday and have fun plans for the Easter weekend. I just am having dinner and games with my kiddos. It should be great. All right. There we go. All right, there we go. And I am just going to think I had in my head, I was gonna do like a crisscross and then maybe, hmm, how should I do it? I could just do the basic, but I kind of wanted to do something different. Let me go get a longer ruler real quick. that long enough? Yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> Here we go. Um, all of my pens are missing. Sorry, where is my, let me find my silver pen. There it is. It was over by my embroidery. Here we go. How about a starburst? Ooh. That'd be cute. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to do kind of something like that. I think we're just going to go um, from corner to corner. Let's have a little fun with it, right? Um, no, this is just vinyl. This isn't leather. This is just vinyl. And I do not remember where I got this vinyl. Sorry, I'm so bad at keeping track. I have so much. Yeah, that's cute. And then we'll do one down the center. I'm gonna do those two first. Happy. It might be, it might be more me now. That might be where I got it. That might be right. <laughs> All right, I feel like, oh, I'm missing a light. Like, I feel like it's darker than usual in here. Aha! There we go. All right, here we go, guys. I am using my caramel colored text 70 bonded thread. Sorry if I'm missing questions. Just keep asking, okay? Um... I try and look up as much as I can, but um, I do miss it every once in a while. Okay, Annette linked the floral material and the pattern. Thank you, Annette, you're awesome. Hi, Sheila. The Sienna Clay, maybe. Like I said, I don't, <laughs> I'm so bad at remembering where, where I got things and what it is, but I'm pretty sure this is more me now. All right, hi Grace from England. Um, can you tell me what your scan and cut machine, Joe, Joan, my scan and cut machine is a brother. Um, I don't remember the exact model number. It will be on the description of the video though. I can guarantee that. 
All right, I'm just trimming down some of that. Okay, I'm gonna do a center one. How thick does your... Um, my thread is a polyester thread and it's um, pretty thick. I've got two, two weights, 45 and 70. 70 is for industrials and 45 is for more of the domestic machines and it is specific for bag making. It won't break. It's not cotton. I would not recommend cotton for um, bag making. Oh, I'm almost centered with this crisscross. I'm just going to make it centered. <laughs> we'll go like that. And then we'll do one more down this way, I think. Rainda, you love making the oxbow? I know, it's so fun. I think the first one I made, I'm gonna keep for myself. <laughs> I love it so much. All right, we're gonna go through the center here. Almost had it dead on there. That's pretty good. Beautiful. That'll be cute. Um, I gotta let my doggo in real quick. You coming in? Okay. Let me close this door. Sorry about that, little Marley May, Marley May entry. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> I wanted to do this before I started the video, but we all know how that, my time always runs out. I woke up nice and early this morning, got an early start, got the kids off, and then I started cleaning my house and it got a little distracted, so. <laughs> uh, you, gotta, you gotta clean when the feeling hits. I don't know about you guys, but it doesn't happen often. Jesse, you made the overnight size. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a fun, big bag. My only thing is the webbing that I wanna do for this one. I only have enough for the handles. So I'm debating if I should just order more and wait for more to come in before making the crossbody strap or, um, yeah, should I do more? Oof, I think I'm going to do a couple more. Yeah. Um, lines here. I'm going to go like this. Let's do it. Why not? Let's have some fun. Hi, Muriel. Um, this fabric has some sweet 70s vibe. Yeah, it does, Natalie. I kind of love it. And then we'll go right here and call it good. That looks pretty good. And then I'm just gonna baste all the edges. BJ, hi, I'm working on a regular and overnight size sewing along with you, yay! <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll order more for the crossbody. I kind of want it all to match. All right, and now I'm just going to baste my sides so that foam is um, really down with the edges of my material. Because it's attached, but I want it to be attached at the edges too. It just makes it easier for all the assembly. 
of the bag. Hi, Mimsy. That is my base. That looks awesome. I really like that. I, I don't know if you can see it. Look how cool that looks. All right, I'm just going to wipe off the silver marking pen because I don't want that to stay on my material. You want to wipe it off pretty quickly. Don't let that sit or else it won't come off very easily. Do you like your scissors better than your thread cutter on your sewing machine? RJ, you know, I'm just, I have the habit of using my scissors way more than the thread cutter. Um, I think it's more out of habit than um, liking it. It's great. And when I do remember to use it, it's awesome. <laughs> um, but I just am used to using my scissors. You know, creatures of habit. Oh, let me plug in my phone real quick. I don't have that plugged in. We don't want this to die on us. There we go. All right, my base, done. Last thing I need to do is do a couple markings for assembly. Um, it was just a baby wipe mo that I had with my embroidery. I don't like that ruler for that. <clears throat> It was not anything fancy. It was just a baby wipe, non-scented, that I got for um, scan and cut and embroidery stuff. Okay, you want to mark a half inch in on each side. That's your um, star, start and stopping marks for when you um, put this whole bag together. So you really want that on there. All right, base is done. I'm not gonna assemble the cross body strap at this moment, because like I said, I don't have enough of the material. This is the webbing I wanna use. So let me, these are my D-ring connectors. I'm just gonna baste those together real quick and get those out of the way. And then we'll work on our handles. Just kind of doing, you know, all my prep work first. Hi, Kathy. Cold in Buffalo, New York. I bet it is. All right. There's my D rings, and then I'm going to work on my handles. All right. So um, for this bag, the middle part of these handles is sewn together, just like that. So um, there are measurements in the pattern. Whoops, that was my ruler. To where you need to do your markings for that. This is Zipper Valley webbing. Yes, I think I'm going to have to order more of it. So don't go and order all of it. <laughs> I need it to finish my bag. Um, let's see. All right, so she has the measurements for each size of the pattern in here. So go from the end in, okay. All right, and now I wanna clip. I'm gonna clip that together. And then I will sew the middle part from each marking. And we just sew along, not our folded edge, but this edge over here. Hi, Tammy. <clears throat> I 
Has anyone tried the new fabric from Zipper Valley? Is it like Wonder Ground waterproof? I have no idea. I haven't tried it yet, Natalie. That's a great question. <clears throat> All right, so there's that one. I'm gonna go ahead and just clip the second one too. Uh, is this bag considered a tote? Yes, Margaret. That's why I'm doing this. I'm going to be doing a few totes to give everybody ideas for the swap. And this is one of them. And it comes in two sizes, which is nice. So yes, this is considered a tote. We're doing, I think signups are still going on. We're doing, um, a swap over on my Patreon right now. You can join for a dollar and quit after the swap but um it's pretty much just to we just make you make a little commitment to it to make sure that we don't get people who don't complete the swap um we've had that issue in the past so um that doesn't seem right just a minute did i mark that wrong or is this the wrong size no it's the right size Okay. No, that's right. Sorry. My brain was like, mm. um, J and T leather. You do great work, Saya. Thank you very much. When does the swap start? I believe. So signups end on April 1st, which is Monday. After that, you cannot join. Once, once the, once the signups close, we do name drawing and it's impossible to add people after the fact. So if you miss the deadline, you'll just have to wait for the next swap. But um, names, so swap closes on April 1st, names get pulled on April 2nd. And then you have Annette, am I, am I right? They have four weeks to complete or three weeks. <clears throat> I think swaps are due May 1st. And it's any, any tote. You can do any tote your heart desires. All right, so now I'm just gonna sew along the edge that was put together here. Just all the way down at a eighth inch seam allowance, okay? On both handles. Swap must be mailed by Monday, April 30th. Awesome. Um, and that link to the Patreon, just a little bit above in the comment section. And then I will link it um, in the description after the video is done. If you are interested and want to join. We used to just do the swaps on a Facebook group, but um, it was a little bit harder to <laughs> manage and people didn't always send in their stuff. So we're trying to do a more controlled <laughs> uh, swap with accountability. <laughs> so that's why we're doing it the way we are. All right, so I'm just putting a little strip of tape on the back for when I put this onto my bag. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other handle, see? So that's what that looks like when it's done and it'll be on the bag like that. It's pretty cool. All right, whoops. Let's do the next one. <clears throat> Why do we put interfacing on card slots? Um, so they're more sturdy because you're pulling cards in and out of them all the time. Is
Is the camera angle, is the camera view okay, guys? Do I need to move it a little closer or are you guys okay with where it's at? I can move it closer if we need to. It's just this bag is so big that eventually it's gonna be taking over this entire table. So I figured we'd start out kind of far. Um, those handles look like they would go great on a Mr. Heckles. Absolutely they would, Margaret. Yes, girl. These would look great on a Mr. Heckles. You could do any type of tote with handles like this. It's a great way to do your handles. All right, and then I'm just gonna put tape on these ones. Hi, Dalva. Bye, Natalie, have fun. I don't go all the way to the top here because this is gonna be um, left on your bag. You don't wanna tape it all the way to the top, okay? All right, beautiful. All right, next thing I'm gonna work on is my pockets. All right, here's one. Those are my linings and my, so I am doing this pocket on the back. She only has it on one side of the bag, but just like with the Mr. Heckles, I want the pockets on both sides. So I'm doing it on both sides of the bag. Um, you don't have to hardly change anything. All you have to do is cut out an extra pocket. All right. So I'm, um, sorry, I keep saying that. Um, I am clipping the top edge and I'm going to sew that together at our seam allowance on both of these pocket pieces. And then I do want to put my nameplate somewhere and I'm debating if I put it on the pocket or not. I think I'm not sure yet. I'm going to sew this one first. Not my seam allowance. Seam allowance is in the pattern. I try not to say measurements and seam allowances, just FYI, out of respect for the designers. Get the pattern. There's one. Beautiful. Do my second one here. <clears throat> Hi, Kasaya from Wet and Windy UK. Can we take a part in the swap if we are international? Yes, you can. As long as we have, the only trick is sometimes we don't have enough people sign up for international shipping. So we're crossing our fingers that people are willing to ship internationally we had that issue last time that we only had like one international person but if we have multiple it'll be better so yes please don't let that detour you from participating we will try and accommodate that as best we can so i want to use my pinking shears here to cut this curve or else it won't lay nice when we turn it. Or you could cut notches if you don't have pinking shears, that works as well. You like it centered just above the pocket. I, that's where I was thinking of doing it. I think I'll do it on the actual bag above the pocket. Beautiful. Yay, Jesse. Hope you love it. I 
signed up for an international swap if I get someone who's not in the States. That's awesome. Thank you, Margaret. Yeah, I'm hoping some people that live in the States sign up willing to ship internationally. I think that's the only way it's going to work. So we shall see. I know we have international people in our group. I haven't even signed up yet. I need to go on and sign up. <laughs> All right, so I'm just clipping and getting my seam laying in place there. And I'm going to top stitch along that top seam. You can also go ahead and baste your two layers together. Mine are kind of slippery because of the material I'm using. I'm using the bonded nylon, so I'm just gonna put some clips so I can make sure I catch them. I'm gonna go ahead and baste these two layers together. It just helps with when you put it on your bag. Also going to clip my center on the bottom of this pocket and that will help for when I put it onto my main panel. I'm just gonna fold it and clip down here. I know that is my center. Okay, put that one aside. Let's do that again. Again, the pattern doesn't call for two pockets. I am choosing to do two pockets. The more pockets, the better, I think. So I am adding three separate pockets inside on the lining. The pattern only calls for one, I believe. So pattern calls for one slip pocket that's divided. I'm adding a zipper pocket and a slip pocket on top of that. So it will be a little bit different than the pattern. <clears throat> okay. Hazel, you should join. Can't hurt to try. <laughs> I hear her out there taping up boxes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just trying to pick which tote to make. Yeah, so many good choices. Make whatever makes you happy, and it'll probably make somebody else happy. That's the... <laughs> That's how I think of it. There are a ton of to cho choices. So many good totes that just recently came out too. center. Now I want to show you. So my lining, do you see how it was a tiny bit off? That's okay. Don't stress out if something like that happens. Almost always that's made up for in your seam allowance. So don't stress out if your pieces don't line up exactly. 
it happens to the best of us. That would stress Susan out. I know it. That's why I'm telling you guys. All right, I think next I am going to put these on my main panels. All right, so I'm going to have to scoot this out because this is going to get big and take over the table because these panels are kind of huge. <laughs> All right, so I do have my bottom center clipped on here already. So what I want to do is line up the center of my pocket with the center of the bag down here and just clip that all on first. And then I'm going to baste this pocket onto my bag panel. If you're super paranoid, you could put a couple of little pieces of tape under here and tape that down before you, um, before you baste this all on. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna hold it and go up like this. Here we go. You can also put um, a magnetic snap closure on this pocket if you feel like you need it. A little moon lock up here would be cute. Um, I'm not going to for this one, but that is totally an option for you. All right, I'm gonna work on one panel at a time instead of doing, whoops, the next one. I'm gonna finish the handles on this one and then I'll go to the next panel. So that, so I, I know you guys can't probably really see, but the thread I used is the brown thread and it matches that for the quilting part of it for, you know, this. So in person, this brown on the floral totally combines this panel here. It just, love it. Okay, I want to put on my handle now. So let me grab that. Thank you, Annette. I have, oh, did I, um, <laughs> I just sewed over a, there are markings on the pattern piece for handle placement, which the pocket covered. So I need to remark real quick right there. Where's my pen guys? Where's my pen? Okay, so I'm gonna mark my handle placement. Again, it's pattern piece has the placements for this. So the markings on the pattern piece, you want the inside of your handle to lay on that marking, both top and bottom. Okay, there we go. And my top marking is right there and my bottom is right there and it should cover the raw edge of your pocket, just like that. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same on this side. <clears throat> Just make sure you're going on the inside of your handle there. on both parts awesome beautiful and then I want to mark down a little bit so I know where to turn and um, pivot up here and 
want to go. Right there. I want to straighten that out. It's going to kind of be at an angle there. Okay. Hi, Val. It's good to see you. I haven't sewn for over three weeks. Drove home from Florida or Santa Fe. Broke down in Pennsylvania. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. That is no fun. I'm glad you finally made it home. Shoot. All right, here we go. I'm going to go up and around at that marking. Right there. <clears throat> okay. And then I'm just gonna come um, across the bottom as well, right there. Ooh, baby. Now, if you wanna do a second row of stitching right there, you totally could. Since this is a bigger tote, I am going to. I'm just gonna give it another row of stitches. I just know this is a big bag and it's gonna be filled. So let's just give it a little extra reassurance there. <laughs> you could even do, you could do a box. Ooh, that's what I should have done. I should have done a little box stitch, that's okay. I just did a second row. Um, now we're gonna do the other side, same process. Same thing. going to do one line below it just like I did with the other one. Beautiful. And there it is. Okay. So this is first panel looks like. Ooh, so pretty. Uh-oh, did I do my handle wrong? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I had a moment. I'm okay. You want the folded edge to be facing out on this handle. Just FYI. All right, so I want to, what do I want to do? I think I want to put 
my nameplate on here real quick before I forget. And then we'll repeat with the back panel. All right, so let me... Center this. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She gave another option on adding the D-rings for crossbody straps different for the overnight tote size. Oh, did she? <clears throat> Where was that, BJ? I don't see that. Uh, oh, here, consider attaching strap holders using an alternate method. Oh. Just a second. I'm going to, I'll look at that and see what the alternate. Oh, it's a video. Huh. Okay, I don't know. I don't have time to figure that out at this moment. Just add on sides instead of seam allowance. Oh, okay. Um, just going to do it right there. So is this the same size as a duffel bag? Um, I think pretty much. I don't know. I haven't made it yet, but it's pretty big. I don't know the exact size of it yet. I will in just a minute when we're all done. plate. Awesome. I'm just going to go ahead and add mine on the seams here. I'm thinking you could also add it up here or you could do actual um, D rings right there. There's there's probably a few different methods that you could do. This is what I'm gonna do. All right. You wanna make sure that you have enough to get past. I'm gonna do it about right there and then how far down, sorry. Okay. Right there. Okay. That is where I am going to put my D-rings. I will do some good reinforcement stitches on these when I sew the whole bag together. I think it'll be fine too, BJ. I'm not too worried about it. Beautiful. And there's my front panel. Okay, I'm gonna go to my back panel now and the handle for the back and the pocket. So I am repeating the same steps and I'm gonna go ahead and mark on my pattern piece right here 
or on my pocket so I know where to lay the handles. There we go. Beautiful. Hi, Rosa. All right, here we go. Beautiful. I did mine like you are doing it and it works fine. Okay, great. Uh, handles. Inside of my webbing on that mark. And then it lines up with the top mark. Again, markings are on your pattern piece. I marked mine beforehand. Beautiful. And then I just need to do my marking up top. Hi, Linda from Buffalo. Mm, can we sign up to watch the bag exchange or do we have to make his bag as well? Andy, it's not a watch type of thing. You sign up to do the bag exchange. No watching, just doing. <clears throat> Hi, Barb. Icing your knee. Oh, how are you feeling? Are you healing? Has it been a slow process? Okay. Hi, Charlotte from Alabama. I like your name. My little one's name is Charlotte. It's a good name. You know what would be cute too? is if you put like a little, ooh, maybe we should do that real quick. Just a second. That'd be cute. Ooh, I need a better D-ring. But what if we put like a D-ring right here to clip things onto? Just a second, I'll be right back. Let me go get, let me go get a nice D-ring. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I'm back. Let's do it. Yes, I like this idea. Why the heck not, guys? Right? We'll do it like right there. And then we'll have a nice little um, clip for keys or, you know, whatever. Hi, sister. Here we go. I know, I love this webbing too, Susan. Zipper Valley, I need to order more of it for the cross body strap. I didn't have enough for both. Lately, when I iron my stabilizer on my cotton, it doesn't adhere. Why? Mm -hmm. Not hot enough, not enough pressure. Um, maybe the kind of stabilizer you're using. There's lots of different um, things that go into that. If you're really getting into bag making, I highly suggest a heat press. It will be worth your time and your money. Oh, hi, Oakley. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hey, sweetie. <clears throat> Where can this pattern be found? This is a noodle head pattern. I'm gonna go right here and go across. Come down. Hey, don't chew my clips. Hey, don't chew any clips, please. Thank you. Thank you. I think she totally got a clip in her mouth. That's what she does. All right, so there's my back one. I put a little D-ring right there. I like that. Beautiful. All right, let me think. What else do we need to do? Where can, yeah, okay. I want to, I'm going to um, put this aside and we're gonna work on our, our guts. We're gonna work on the inside pieces. So let's get one of them out here. And I want these two pieces. want that. Where's my inside zip? Oh, it's on the floor. Okay. So I haven't cut out. I'm doing a zipper overlay and a slip pocket on one side and then a slip pocket on the other side. I am adding pockets to this. It does only have one pocket in the pattern, but I thought for such a big bag, let's do it. Our doodle stole dad's cookie and walked out of the house and gave it to me. Oh man, you know what my doodle did yesterday? This dang dog. Her new thing is, you know, getting food off the counters. 
She used to be so good. She used to not do it at all. And now all of a sudden she's doing it all the time. My daughter, I got her McDonald's after school. It's like a treat. She had French fries sitting on the table and she had to use the bathroom. She went to the bathroom and when she came back, Oakley had taken her whole thing of French fries out to the backyard and ate them all. She was so sad. <laughs> and on the car ride home, she was kind of munching on them, going off. Susan, you would appreciate this. Charlotte was going off about how McDonald's fries are perfection. Just the salty and the crispy and the, she was just going off. And, and then Oakley ate them all. <laughs> Oh man, these dogs. So funny. I got her more fries, don't worry. That little girl. Okay. Here we go. I just cut out my own overlay. It's nothing fancy. It's very, very basic. <laughs> Your doodle is a counter surfer too. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, seriously. Uh, Susan, she was so sad. <laughs> it reminded me of my sister because Susan loves a good French fry. And so does Charlotte. <laughs> What is that? Uh, Barb, I'm going to do it Wednesday at 10 a.m. Susan Kasaya wanted her own channel today. How <laughs> rude. <laughs> Sorry, Susan. <laughs> uh, that's funny. My dog ate a two pound package of raw ground beef and two sticks of butter. Oh, no. Yep, that sounds like something Oakley would do. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I would have been devastated. All right, so now I need my placement for this. Crystal, I have been MIA lately. I lost my little Daisy May very suddenly. Oh, I'm so sorry, Crystal. That's the worst. I'm so sorry. What's her name? Oh, you're talking about somebody else? <clears throat> Hi, Brittany. Brittany's got a new pattern coming out, you guys, on Monday. Whoop, whoop. So exciting. All right, so here's my center. Yeah, my big dog's name is Oakley. We call her Ochre Dokes. Oker doker. She's a sweetheart, but she does love anybody and everybody's food. Okay, so I just kind of marked out my center markings. I'm doing it two inches down from the top. I'm just guesstimating. Yes, Brittany's pattern's coming out. I hope to either have a pre-recorded or do a live or something fun next week for her release. My next week's going to be pretty quiet because I am helping um, my close close friend through some health issues next week. So I will not be around too much, which is why next week works better for Susan's video. And then we're going to Wonderground next weekend. Yay. Oh, Crystal, I understand. Dogs are family. I get it. My doggies are my little fur babies. I get it. I probably need to check my bobbin. Hopefully it doesn't run out. 
doing this overlay. I almost just did a regular pocket, but then I thought, no, I just love, I'm obsessed with the overlays lately, guys. It just makes your bag that much prettier and it's really not that hard. Once you get the hang of it, it doesn't take much more time than a regular zipper pocket, honestly. I need to just dig out all my scraps and get some overlay templates on my scan and cut and just cut a zip, bunch of zipper overlays out of all my scraps. That would be, that would be genius. Think I'll do it? I don't know. Hey, hi Lulu. Glad I can stick around for a few minutes before I head back to work. Hope you have a happy Easter if you celebrate. Awesome. You too, Lulu. <clears throat> Jackie, wish I could go to Wonderground event. Kiddo with his baseball takes over our lives. I bet it does. My little dude's just in basketball right now, and I feel like it's all the time. He made a three-pointer yesterday. First shot of the game. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> What are you talking about? Did I miss something? Maybe I'll catch it before she sews it together. Pam, what are we talking about? Did I miss something? Um, Brittany, I know I need to get just some overlays from Leslie that don't have my Saya swag on it. I need some just plain, pretty, colorful overlays. That's probably what I'll do. Second line of stitching, um, on the handle, I did the D-ring, and so there's the second line of stitching underneath. I think I did this. Oh, I see what you mean, guys. I'll go do that. Ah, thank you. I would have been so sad. <laughs> Thanks for catching that. Is there any chance Susu templates could be made at 110? Laura, I would ask um, Leslie of Jolie Lee Creations if she would be willing to do that. That's who um, does the Susu Sling templates. I bet that's a possibility. Thank you guys for catching that. Yay, I would have been sad. <laughs> okay, now we're good on that. Hi, Susan Wright. Let's do this now. Let's add our pocket pieces. My hands are hurting. I cleaned before I got on and I scrubbed my shower and my kitchen and <laughs> that was probably a bad combo to do that. And so that's okay. Just do some tape in here. Christine. Welcome, welcome. I know I do like doing these lives because if you do accidentally mess up or miss something, everybody is watching and they can tell you. <laughs> it's kind of great. 
for sure. Beautiful. And I need my zipper pulls. Let's see. I'm going to do this cute heart one. I think I got... Um, I think I got these ones from Endo Love a while ago. They're just really cute heart zipper pulls. I think those are Endo, Endo Love. I could be wrong, but I think that's where I got them. Beautiful. All right, here we go. So I want to put this to there. Right side up and right side up with the zipper. All right. I'm just kind of eyeballing my center. It doesn't have to be exact. Sorry if my head's in the camera. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to do one side at a time. Aren't these cute? All right. And I want to do, shoot, my zipper's on the wrong way. Just a minute. That would bug me. I have to do it the right way. All right. So I'm going to put the, this bottom part of my um, zipper in first. My zipper pocket is laying up like this. All right, and I'm just gonna sew along the bottom edge. Oh my gosh, Kim. <laughs> that would be amazing. I just had to put um, Marley May. She just had her little doggy interview for the boarding place that Oakley goes to because I just don't know what to do anymore. It's so hard to find, to find dog sitters. It's so expensive to board them though. And I have so many trips coming up. So I would take you up on that. All right, just make sure everything looks good. All right, I'm going to sew along the bottom and I'm gonna check my bobbin real quick. I'm so happy you're doing this bag. I need this for my summer beach travels. Susan, yes, this would be a perfect summer beach bag. You could even make this out of all nylon, like all bonded nylon, so it's kind of, you know, waterproof. That would be kind of amazing. Okay, I still have a little bobbin left. I'm gonna use it. <clears throat> Hi, Jane. All right, am I good? Yes, all right, here. So you just wanna start a little bit before your zipper and we're going to, I am gonna backstitch. I'm not doing the whole pull through just because my thread matches and I'm not too worried about it. But if you had a nice contrasting thread, I highly suggest not back stitching and pulling through your threads to the back and tying them off. If you've watched Susan, you know how to do that. Susan is a professional basically at doing that. <laughs> Teresa, your color combo is always fire. Thank you very much. I had, I kind of struggled with what to do for the lining on this bag. I didn't want to do a neutral, but I was having a hard time finding a color, but look at that. It like, it pulls that out perfectly. It looks so good. I love it. All right. So now I want to add on my other side. So you want to basically fold this down. I'm just going to kind of give it a good press. And then I'm going to put my other lining up here on the top part of the zipper. <clears throat> and you can kind of just fold all that down out of your way. 
want to make sure that lines up right there. Right sides up. You could do this all before you add it to the zipper, but I find that it comes undone if you're taping. If you're basting, it's not a problem. All right, and then I'm gonna take this top tape off. Fit the rest of this in. Pretty good. Here we go. So both of my lining pieces are facing down towards the bottom of the lining now, and I am going to sew the rest of the way around the zipper. Boom, baby. Now I just need to close up the sides. I'm gonna leave the, all right, I'll show you real quick. So pretty. I'm gonna leave the bottom of this pocket open because I'm gonna do the whole double pull through, especially with this big old bag. Um, my hands will thank me later. So that's another reason I wanted to add a zipper pocket to this bag. Just for the end assembly, it makes it a little bit easier. <clears throat> Brittany, I was deep cleaning before I hopped on too. I get it. I'm having a little bit of company this weekend. <laughs> I wanted everything to look nice. I even took all the cushions off my couch and I'm washing them. <laughs> They smell like dog. I wonder why. And I may have spilled a little wine on them the other night. So there's that. Here we go. Sew up this side here. I'm gonna make it wider bottom. Beautiful. Other side. Hi, Kenny. wine. <laughs> yep, Annette. Luckily, it wasn't red. I don't like red. Okay, beautiful. Pocket done. Now, I want to put a slip pocket on top of this pocket. That was my idea. Let's see how this works. Um, I think I can... Just so on the other slip pocket, we leave the bottom raw edge because it gets sewn into the seam down here. I think I can do the same thing on this one. So that's what I'm going to do. I did do, look, I did the leather. All right, so I'm gonna assemble the pocket first. And I just kind of guesstimated on these pieces. You don't like do however big you wanna do on these. It's your bag, you do you. So many ways. There are so many ways to do the pocket with an overlay. Yeah, there is. There really is. Just find 
the method that you love and that works for you and go with it. All right, so I'm going to sew this pocket together and leaving my bottom raw. Bye, Carla. What are those fabrics? Um, the main lining part is a bonded nylon. And then the other pieces are cotton and vinyl. Hi Rose, happy Friday. I get to see you next weekend. I get to meet you next weekend, Rose. How awesome is that? All right, I'm gonna turn this right side out. I know, I'm excited too. It'll be a fun break. Poking out my corners. I'm gonna get everything just rolled out, laying nice. I'm gonna top stitch and then I will add this to my lining. And I just need to be sure <laughs> that when I add it to my lining, I don't sew through my zipper pocket. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. You're good. We're still, we're working on lining pieces right now. This video is gonna take a hot second and that's okay. This is what I planned for my day. This and cleaning, all right. This is just not wanting to give me a good seam. So <laughs> give me a second. I want it to lay nice. Almost there. Katie, Wonderground Weekend is the only thing getting me through work this week. Yay! <laughs> Kat, got my vacation day approved for May 9th. Yay! We have some fun things coming up. My kids are so excited for our RV trip, too. It's going to be fun. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just change this. Because nothing's worse than running out in the middle of a top stitch. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Hi, Melissa, you're good. Hi, 
Hi, Merla. Hello, Merla. Uh, Annette, I know. I wish you could join us on one of them. All right, just clip it in the bottom center. And I'm going to put this on my bag. Center for that. So I need to figure out how I want to separate this pocket as well. This, huh, this could totally fit my iPad, couldn't it? You know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. I am going to separate it right here. I need an iPad bag. Susan, this could fit it. That's what I'm going to do. I guess I'm keeping this bag. <laughs> Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Should I do that? Yeah. We'll do kind of one nice big pocket in case. This could work for anybody. Even if I don't end up keeping this. Um... That could be an iPad pocket. All right, so I've got my pocket flipped up. Here we go. I'm gonna sew this on. I just don't normally carry around a bag this size when I fly on a plane. That's the only thing. Like, I probably wouldn't take this with me, actually. I don't like to carry a lot when I fly. I think it's from years of um, traveling with kids. When I fly, I like to have nothing to carry. <laughs> Besides my little tiny bag with my phone and my earbuds. Sure. <laughs> Rose, Kasaya and Susan, when I see you next weekend, I'll be pretty obvious to spot. Short, short Filipino gal. <laughs> Rose, I think we know who you are by now. <laughs> I would recognize you. I've seen you many times on video chat. <laughs> See what we got, guys. Hey, that looks pretty good. I like that. I love it. Okay, so that's one side of our bag. Let's put on the other, the other pocket here. The other one, I'm just doing the basic slip pocket that she has in the pattern. There's nothing different about it. I'm just doing that pocket. So we want to sew three sides, leaving the bottom raw, and we'll turn it right side out. I'm flying to Lauren's with just a tote bag and checking my suitcase. Yeah, I hate lugging. I hate carrying luggage to us. Like, I never carry on. If I'm going for an overnight trip, I will check a bag. If I am going for a two-night trip, I will check a bag. <laughs> 
Ask Susan. She knows. And I don't pack light anyways. Very bright. You know what? I'm going to heat up my iron real quick because I can iron this nice and flat. Homegirl has to have fashion options when she travels. Yep. The only time I don't wear leggings and a hoodie every day is when I travel. Even then, eh, maybe I do. Welcome back from feeding your horses. Just cutting my corners here. So they're not big and bulky. I'm actually going to take this to my iron. How about that? It pays to have a United credit card, free check bag. Yeah, Pammy, that's why I fly Southwest. Two free check bags. Yes, please. <laughs> um, that's another reason I love my job, because I can sit at home in my sweats, which I'm wearing right now, and work. It's kind of fabulous. When I have to put on actual jeans and like nice clothes, I'm all, ugh, <laughs> don't enjoy it. All right, I'm just going right over here real quick to iron. I'm going to top stitch this baby and then we'll add it to the other side of our lining. May have something fun planned for you and Susan in May and you can wear your leggings. Perfect, Kathleen. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> um, where did you get that fabulous turning tool to do your corners? Rhonda, somebody sent it to me years ago. It's pretty much just a metal chopstick and it is the best tool in my kit. I use it every bag. Maybe I should start carrying those on my website. Seriously, they're fabulous. Brittany, I can't plan outfits. My clothes depend on my mood and my comfort and <laughs> both unpredictable. Yeah, same. That's why when I go on a trip, I pack multiple outfits per day. And I usually change multiple times per day. Susan can... Um, Susan can <laughs> attest to that. <laughs> My mood changes throughout the day. So Sweetness carries the turning tool. That one's not from So Sweetness. I'm sure multiple people have it. Yeah, I'm sure it's a thing. That'd be a fun thing to carry, though. All right, so I want to center... Here. 
Um, and then, you know, how you separate this, totally your call. I think, and it's a pretty big, deep slip pocket compared to the one I put on the other side is more shallow. It's shorter. So that's good. Two different options here. I don't know if I would go this deep of a slip pocket next time, actually. This seems like things would get lost in there. Yeah. I think I'm just going to split this down the middle. Not right there. Okay, let's sew this on. You know what? Just a minute, that's gonna bother me. My um, slip pocket is interfaced on just one side and it's this side and I want that side to be the side that's out. Sorry, let me redo that real quick. Um, the link for this pattern, Brittany, can you link the pattern, please? So, um, I'm not sure. I forget what their name is. She's asking how to get the pattern. Can you link it for her? All right. Let's do this. Ooh, a cargo pocket, Dawn. Ding, ding, that'd be awesome right here, yes. I just feel like this pocket is super deep. I don't know if I would do this deep of a pocket next time. Whoops, I almost went right by it. Thank you, Brittany. There's the link to purchase this pattern. You have to go to that website, it is not my pattern it is not on my website the only pattern that i have is the susu sling which is awesome but you have to go to the different websites of the designers to purchase these other patterns i have people ask all the time You are very welcome. Ta da. Pam, I wish I could go to Wonderground. Saya needs to go again when I can go. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, I love California and I love uh, Gabby and Lily. So yeah, maybe I will go again. All right, you guys, we're about there. We're about at the end assembly. Let's get our zipper. This is my main zipper here. I want to do a turn. My hand is, my hands are killing me today. Woo. I wonder if there's a storm coming. Yeah, Rose, you work from home too, right? I have so many like full on lounge outfits now. <laughs> And ladies, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I 
All right, so we're just doing the 90 degree pinch fold method. And I am going to baste that down on my zipper. And then we'll start putting this bad boy together. I am V. Hi, Sai. I would love to film a video of me sewing up the Susu sling. Do you allow that? Um, yes, I do allow that. I just um, ask you to not show pattern pieces, measurements, or seam allowances, just like I do on my videos. But I would love you to do a video. Go for it. my iron. Yes, Dawn, I do have stuff to put on my hands. I put some on before I started, so I'll do that after. It's just the joys. All right, here we go. I need to, what do I need to do? I'm not going to put my pole or anything on yet. I'm going to do mine like separate. I need to piece together I'm just trying to think how I want to do this. I want to piece together my exterior real quick. Alright, here we go. So, I've got my exterior, my bottom. I'm going to attach those two. I'm going to start and stop at these marks right here. Um, all the markings and measurements are in the pattern. But make sure you do that. Ah, dang clips. I love it. All right, here we go. Let's sew this bad boy up. I'm going to just move you out just because it's so big. I don't want to be hitting the tripod. All right, I'm starting at that mark and ending at the other mark. You are not going all the way to the end of your piece, guys. This is a mighty big bag. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, Jackie, I'm now semi-retired, working part-time, and able to wear my leggings every day. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I could not imagine having to go into a formal workspace again. I never had to. I was a stay-at-home mama. I feel like I dressed up more when I was a stay-at-home mom than I do when... <laughs> Now that I work at home, though, <laughs> kind of funny. I went out more, that's for sure. I'm kind of a homebody anymore. Kasaya, do you still have snow? It messes with my hands when it's cold. Cindy, yeah, it's still kind of cold. And I think we have another cold front uh, blowing in this weekend. So it that could be part of my issues, too. All right. So you're not supposed to top stitch. All right. We're not top stitching. I'm gonna add my other piece to the other side. This one's so big, guys. <laughs> so big, like I thought the regular size was a nice size. I'll compare the two. I have the, I do have the regular size sitting in here to compare and show you guys when we're done. So you can see the difference in the two bags. <clears throat> yeah, I have to force myself to get out of the house sometimes because I know I get depressed <laughs> when I've been home for too long because I am not actually typically a homebody. I am the exact opposite. So the fact that I am home so much anymore 
kind of messes with my brain. <clears throat> Holy cow, guys. This, I'm going to have to move this out even more just so I'm not hitting the tripod, okay? This is big. I like big totes, and I cannot lie. Here we go. What materials did you use for this tote? I used vinyl, cotton, and a bonded nylon. And then I interfaced with woven and foam and a piece of Decaville Heavy on my bottom. I liked having the opportunity to use some of my cotton materials for a bag. It was kind of fun. I'm sure you could make this all vinyl just fine, especially if you have an industrial machine, but I thought it would be fun to do cotton like she has in the pattern. What are you going to do for your next sister? So Julie, that is a great question. What do you think we should do? I don't think we have a sister sew project um, plant. All right, so I do want to make a snip just on, is it on my, um, I forget if it's, I think it's my exterior, right? Yes. Just on my exterior pieces, pretty much at that marking up to my seam, not through my seam, just right by it. This is going to help just like that. It's going to help it when you box the sides. The Bella bucket bag. Who is that by? Um, Jamie. Bye, Rosa. And then right there. Okay, I've got all of my little corners snipped. I want to add on my zipper now. Oh, okay, Jamie. I don't, I don't know. All right, so I want to get my, wait, where's my zipper? Here's my zipper. And I need a couple of start and stop markings on my piece. And I forget, just a second. Okay, so on this side, I want to go in here, make a mark, and on this side, again, measurements in the pattern, get it, read it. While I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, but opposite because it'll be opposite, right? <laughs> Rose, it's enormous. <laughs> this is the overnight. The regular one is um, a much more normal size. This is the overnight tote. All right, I'm gonna start on the right side of my bag just so I know I have everything going correctly. I want to fold your handle down. I am going to put a little marking across my zipper too on my tape so I know when I put my pull on that it's lined up correctly. And that's just a way to help know that you got the teeth lined up correctly if you are adding your pull on later, which I am doing. So I'm going to take mine apart. I'm going to place it face down. Right side down. I need to trim this. Sorry. I forgot to trim that. I was curious about top stitching earlier, so I'm watching to see how you do this. Um, yeah, you know, she has you top stitching um, at the very end, which you can totally do. But you can also top stitch 
like you do a pouch um, as you make this, which I did on my smaller one and it turned out, it turned out fine. So, and then I didn't have to fight with trying to top stitch this big old bag under my machine. So I will probably do that again. So I'll show you how I do that. All right, so right sides together. Just make sure that your folded edge is on the left here because you want your bag opening from left to right. <clears throat> I need to, I can hear my daughter walking around. She must be home. I'm just trimming off some of that foam that was above my material. And so she has you doing the zipper that kind of, um, pulls out of your seam allowance at the end, like, shh. so I'll stop at this marking and kind of angle it down when I'm coming off over here. All right, so I'm basting this part first. This is just a baste. So this is pretty much a full closure bag. The zipper goes along the whole entire top. If you wanted to do a recessed zipper, it'd be huge, but you could do it. You could make it an opened tote with nothing, which I don't know how practical that would be, but you can always alter the top closure of any bag, really, um, using any of the methods that we always do. You can pretty much add a recess zipper to almost anything. All right, so I'm keeping an eye out for that marking and I am just going to gently pull that down. Beautiful. Where do I get my phone? I buy um, Basel Interfoam off of Amazon is my favorite. You're about to mop. All or you need a link. Okay, thank you, Brittany. <laughs> I need to mop my floor after this. Okay, so now I'm going to attach to the other side, but keep in mind you're doing the opposite way now because your folded edge is over here. So you're not starting your other folded edge down here. You're turning it like this. So you want that 90 degree edge on the same side as this, okay? And I need to trim this side up. I didn't do that. And then I'm going to just repeat what I just did. Now, if you don't like taking your zipper completely apart like this, you don't have to. I just really think it's easier when you're putting together a big bag like this to not have it connected. Here we go. So now I'm starting on the edge that tapers off. So I just got to find where that starts. It starts right there. Hi, baby. I don't know how to put this on. <laughs> okay, pause. <laughs> you got her? Yeah. Okay. I had to give her a treat to tape off. <gasps> oh, Chris, are you going to go for a walk? I'll just take Oakland off. Of my okay. She might want to come with you. Oh, wait. Oh, I always can't. Yeah, that's why I like the black. Um, wait. Uh -oh. It's the black buckle that you take apart here. Okay. And then the, the 
beige one go is the one that goes around her belly. Okay, okay other foot. Marty, do you want to go to walk too? Marty, do you want oh to go to walk? Oh my goodness. Good. All right. Have fun. That's <laughs> <just> so weird. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Yeah. Okay, Marty, you want to walk? Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> we should share pictures of our sewing room floors and see who is messier. <laughs> Mine's pretty bad, Nancy, all the time because I don't know what a trash is. All right. Oh my goodness, Rose, I made a cute shoulder bag using the Sincerely Jen's Banana Hammock Beauty Bag Pattern. My cousin asked me to make eight for Mother's Day gifts. I've never sewed eight of anything before. I'm a bit nervous. You can do it. Oh my gosh, Rose, you got it. You're so talented. That should be a cakewalk for you. That's awesome. <laughs> La La Palooza, yes, it is a... It's the overnight size. It's the big mama. For sure. And that this would be a perfect beach bag. I would do like all bonded nylon with it. It would be amazing. All right, I've got that part down. Okay, I'm gonna get two of my lining pieces out real quick. I'm gonna do this one. And my bottom piece here, I need to make my markings on this. Why do I lose everything? Where's my pen? <laughs> okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right, I need to make my markings. For Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this bigger. I'm going to take, I did a whole quarter of an inch bigger on my other bag for the lining. And it fit in the exterior so nice. So I'm going to do the same thing on this. Hi, Wendy. Getting ready to head upstairs to continue cutting out a Starling messenger bag. Yay. Take me with you. I'm just snipping corners real quick. I forgot to do my side ones on my base, but that's okay. I need to make this one for spring baseball. <laughs> yes. Um, our spring baseball, our spring sports are the exact same here, Jackie. Yep, I feel ya. All right, I'm just connecting one side. Um, I am not going to connect the other side at all. I'm gonna be turning the bag through the other side and then pulling it through my zipper pocket and finishing it and then closing up my zipper pocket. And I will kind of, I'll walk you through that. And this is different than the pattern. It's different than the pattern. So this is where I kind of change it up just a little bit. All right, so I'm doing that bigger seam allowance on this lining, okay? So I am taking it bigger.
I need someone to hack this with center divider and make my wildest dreams come true. <laughs> I'm sure you could put a center divider in this pretty easily, especially because you're just sewing these two seams together. I bet you could do a center divider in it. I don't want to figure it out, but I'm sure somebody could. <laughs> All right, so I want my zipper pocket along the back side of the bag. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this. And I'm going to take this lining here. Okay, I'm going to put the two together. And I'm going to clip them up at the top, centered all along this zipper. And I'm going to sew that at my seam allowance along the zipper, making sure that I don't catch this. I'll be pulling this down out of the way right there. You don't want that little tail in your seam allowance. And then I'm going to top stitch um, now instead of at the end. So there's, there's um, positives and negatives to that, and I'll show you. Here we go. Let's, oh, this sucker. This is huge. <laughs> this bag is so big, guys. It's so big. All right, so I've got my zipper pulled down and out. Very important. I am gonna have to move this. That's fine. that. So I'm going to top stitch now. This is not what she has in the pattern. Um, think about when you're doing pouches, okay? Same type of thing you want to keep in mind. You do not want to top stitch your lining underneath, okay? because then that'll make this side seam weird. Um, that's the biggest disadvantage to top stitching with both pieces back like that. Um, the advantage she has for her method of doing it in the very end, which I suppose I could do actually. Okay, I'm gonna do it like she does in the pattern, but you could take this right now with your lining pulled out your seam allowance going down and you could top stitch down. Um, your corners, your sides are gonna lay just a little bit differently, but keeping this lining out this way is going to help them lay a lot better. So you do have that option. Yeah, I'll top stitch in the end. Let's just top stitch in the end. Let's, let's see how it lays compared. And then I can compare the two because my other one I did that, that way. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so now I wanna add the other side of my lining to this. 
Sorry, I'm just kind of um, talking to myself, <laughs> figuring things out. <laughs> now I wanna add, this is gonna be big and crazy, the other side of my lining to the other side of the zipper here. And we're going to repeat what we just did. What if you clip the seam allowance to flip part of the seam down? Yeah, I mean, you could do that. There's multiple ways you could probably end this bag, but let's, let's do this bag as she has you doing it in the pattern. And my other bag that I have that was the regular size, I did top stitching as I went. So we can compare the two and see what we think. And then you can have a better idea of which method you want to do. But just think of how you would top stitch a pouch, right? Lining out, seam allowance going down towards the main exterior and top stitch across. Good to compare, that's right, Annette. Let's do it. Let's do a little. I'll tell you which way I like better when I'm done. I'm guessing thickness wise, if you're on a more lightweight machine, I would top stitch as you go before you finish because if you wait till the end to top stitch, you're going to be going through more layers. That would be my one, maybe, suggestion. At least that's how I think of it. I could be wrong. <laughs> I've been wrong a lot. mix a lot. <laughs> That's funny. Look at this bag. It's so big. <laughs> all right. Oh my goodness, you guys. We have all the pieces attached. <laughs> it's huge. Okay, so we are not doing anything with the bottom of this bag. We're going to attach that at the very end. What I'm going to do now, again, think of like how you make pouches or boxy bags and all that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to clip both of my exteriors and my linings together here. So the difference here is I can lay my seam flat, unlike if I were to top stitch, I wouldn't be able to lay my seam flat. That's one of the advantages, I suppose. You could always stop the top stitch and not include the very end. I don't know. There's so many different ways, guys. And this is a tiny seam to get to lay flat. All right. Big Daddy. Are you going to try the Townsend bag from Sally Tomato? Um, yeah, that one looks super cute. That would be a fun one to try. <laughs> you got that song in your head. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. 
This is an arm workout, guys. All right, I'm just gonna sew up this side first and then I'll clip the other side. I will be taking my lining at a bigger seam allowance than my exterior so it fits nice in, and flush inside my bag. And that's it, here we go. time is it? 12.55. We're doing so good. Two hours? That's pretty dang good. A little over two hours. All right, so here is the part where if you get your seam laying flat, might be helpful for the rest of the bag. Okay, now I'm gonna go at that bigger seam allowance here. I don't want this flopping off the table. I know, it's so big. <laughs> uh, when are you doing the bubble bag sew with Crafty Reporter Katie? That is scheduled for next Friday. I need to get on that and make a practice run. But I am scheduled to do a video with Amber from Crafty Reporter next Friday. I'm excited, it should be really fun. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple extra stitches out of the seam allowance right here over this connector. Let's give it some extra love. Susan, you should drive to her house on Friday and sew with her. <laughs> All right, other side. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I think I've got allergies going lately too. I had to take a Benadryl last night. All right, I want to, I'm going to clip this zipper out of my way here so I don't accidentally sew over that. You don't want to sew over your zipper tail. Um, Susan, I don't think we scheduled a time yet. Maybe like 10. You should talk to her. Hi, Valerie. Okay, so now let's put this one together. Cool. My daughter who came in here with Oakley promised me she would take Oakley on a really nice long walk. <laughs> oh, it's helpful, super helpful. Who's excited to see the end part of this bag? I am so excited to see what this looks like, guys. <laughs>
Hey, we're above 300. Yay. Oh, thank you guys for sitting with me <laughs> while I sew this up. You guys are all awesome. Okay. Here we go. Second side. You all can see okay. <laughs> this bag is definitely a labor of love. It's really not like hard to sew up. Like it's pretty, it's a pretty um, beginner friendly bag. It's just big. It's just big. I would highly recommend this pattern for beginners. I think it's a great one to learn on. All right, and now I'm taking my seam allowance bigger. Make sure this bag doesn't flop off the back of my table. We don't want floppy bags. Just awkward, yep. Just awkward. Gosh, I can't remember the last time I did a bag this big. It's been a while. It's been a hot second. Beautiful. I'm going to just trim down this lining seam allowance, and then I'm going to go over that connector a couple times. I'm just trimming my lining seam allowance. I don't feel like I need to do the same on my exterior, just my lining. All right, I'm gonna go over this connector here again. Just because it is such a big bag, it will have a lot pulling on that. Essentially a giant fancy pouch. Yeah, Annette, it totally is. That's, I mean, you hit it right on the head. That's exactly what it is. All right, so I want to box the bottom of this um, exterior, which I did mark my centers, yay. Okay, so I did those cuts earlier, right? Right there. Oh, bear with me as I try to get this in the camera. Okay. So I want to line up my centers here, pinch together, and we're just going to sew this across the side, and we're going to close up our exterior completely. Just like that, like that. Cool. Will you say hi to Millie and Maggie? <laughs> My dogs are watching. Hi, Millie and Maggie. <laughs> hi, doggies. Nice, just boxed bottom there, okay? Beautiful. And now I wanna do this other side here, same thing. I think you got your workout for the day. I think I did too, Rose. <laughs> I've tried to make a goal of not taking a nap during the day. I don't know if that's gonna happen today. I might take a nap. <laughs> oh man.
Okay. Here we are, second corner. Naps are the best. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I didn't take one yesterday and I was so proud of myself. <laughs> Small wins, right? Yay. Okay. Um, I'm going to finish the base of the bottom when I pull it through. So we're turning and burning, guys. You ready? You ready for this humongous, huge, ginormous turn and burn? This is why I left it this big open with the zipper pocket. It just so much easier. I kind of wish we were forced to take naps as adults, even though we hate it as kids. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Napping might be my favorite hobby. <laughs> okay, so you guys, you guys hear me, you feel me. I love a good nap. It just makes me happy. <laughs> but I've been having a hard time sleeping at night. And so I'm like, well, maybe if I don't nap during the day, I'll sleep better. Hasn't really fixed the problem. So. Looks good. I'm glad I put that extra. So I put an extra piece of foam um, along my base piece this time. And I like that. I, I would do that again especially if your machine can handle that thickness in the bottom, especially for this bigger bag too. I like that layer of foam down in there. I'm just kind of creasing it. Ooh, look how pretty she is. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> okay, that looks awesome. So now we have to finish it. So I'm going to open my zipper pocket. And then I'm just pulling through all of this lining through this zipper pocket here. And now I'm gonna finish this lining up completely and it'll be a nice clean finished lining and then I'll just have to finish up my zipper pocket. Could you imagine trying to turn that in a smaller amount of space? I don't, that would be rough. All right, here we go. Let's line this up and finish it. Yay! <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Perimenopause, menopause is probably why you can't sleep at night. Just saying, learn that myself. Melissa, you're probably 100% correct. I had my window open last night. I was hot, then I was cold. And then I started sneezing because my window was open. Then I took a Benadryl. <laughs> and then Charlotte couldn't sleep. She kept coming down. She got a bloody nose. I finally gave her a Benadryl too. I'm like, here, <laughs> let's just sleep on Benadryl tonight. Oh, poor baby. <clears throat> Gotta love it. All right, so I'm taking my bigger seam allowance and then I will box my corners up at that bigger seam allowance. And we're almost done. Yay! Here we go. You like the quilting on the bottom? Thank you. I really like it too. I think it was a, a fun choice. This bag kind of just makes me happy. I kind of love it. So in the pattern, she has you um, leaving just an opening 
in the bottom, like you box the corner and you sew a little bit and you leave one side open. That may be big enough to turn it um, depending on your materials. So you could totally do it that way too. I just did it the way I did it because I figured it would be easier on my hands, bigger space to turn, all that kind of good stuff. So you choose whichever way is right for you, obviously, always. In the home stretch. All right, so now I need to do those little clips um, on my main lining panels by the seam down here. So it'll lay flat. Right there and right there. Okay, beautiful. I will um, be trimming my seam allowance a little bit on this lining too because it's just pretty big. Patty, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Zoop. Flatten her out. Beautiful. Beautiful. I hear doggies back. Okay. This is going to lay a little weird just because of my pocket that I did here. It was almost, it was almost too wide. I cut it at just the right size. Kind of crazy, actually. bottom of my other one didn't lay great either on my lining. I don't know why, but that's okay. Can't even tell. All right, I'm just going to trim this up. Flip her over. Let's do this side here. Maybe, come on. There we go. Did you cover up the back side of your metal tag? You know what? I did not. I didn't. I will uh, reach in the zipper pocket and do that. Thank you for reminding me. Totally forgot. Thank you. You guys have saved me twice now. All right, here we go. Close her up. Also going to trim this bulk off here. It will help the lining lay in our bag better if you trim this bulk out, especially if you did the bigger seam allowance like I did. And I've got vinyl right there from that pocket. So that will definitely help with all of that. Hi, Ogres. Are you so happy? Did you go on a long walk, baby? Hi. Oh. <sighs> Laying on my cold floor. She's like, yes. Okay. 
Uh, all righty. This is going in. I'm going to have to reach through and cover up my nameplate prongs real quick. Which is right there. So let me get a piece of tape. <laughs> I don't think I'll keep this bag. It's just, it's gorgeous and I love it a lot. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I may put it up on my website. We'll see. All right, I'm just using a piece of this self-adhesive um, interfacing. Are you so tired? <gasps> Did you have such a good walk? Did you have such a good walk, baby? <laughs> She's panting. All right, let's reach in here. Cover that prong, got it. Okay, let's, here we go. Tip, even if the hole in the bottom of the lining is the same, smaller than your zipper pocket, it's still easier to turn since you aren't forcing the whole bag, bag through a small tube. Yeah, Brittany, I 100% agree. This is my favorite way to do it. I hate turning full bags through the zipper pockets. It's like my least favorite way to do it. Yep. Oh, baby, did you get water? Honey, she went running with you, didn't she? Annabelle's good. She runs with the dogs and they get so tired. My daughter has a golden doodle named Winkley. Oh, and she doesn't like men. BJ, <laughs> Oakley doesn't like men either. <laughs> she loves my boys. But any other men that come around, nope. That's funny. <laughs> Puppy panting, that's the best. <laughs> She's exhausted back here. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, you know, we're not done. We still have to top stitch this bad boy because we chose to do that now instead of before. <laughs> now I'm regretting my decision, but that's okay. That's okay. Another reason I like top stitching it beforehand. Okay, let's put this all together. Hi, Oakley. Are you the star of the show today? Can you do the double turn on any bag? Oh, pretty much, Rhonda. Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is kind of gorgeous. This is kind of gorgeous. Okay, so now we have to do our big old top stitch. And honestly, I think these side seams look the same as my other bag that I top stitched before I assembled it all together. So my recommendation would be to top stitch it like you would a pouch. What a workout. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, oh, I will. I will get a nap. Okay. Zip. Um, it's kind of gorgeous. Okay, let's top stitch. I'm gonna start over here, back corner. 
Now my only trick with top stitching is going to be making sure that my lining is down and out of my way as I'm top stitching. All right, let's do it. I'll be resituating quite a bit, I think. Make sure my needle's in when I kind of adjust everything here. I think my bobbin's okay. I changed it and got a fresh one not too long ago. So I think we're okay on the bobbin. And I don't, it's not doing the clangy, the clang click noise. You guys know what I mean when it's running low. <laughs> so I think we're okay. You know, the plus side is it's really not that hard to top stitch because it's so big. So that's good. But you are going over this thicker seam coming up right here. So, you know, if your machine is one that cannot handle that, that would be an issue. newbie question do you mention did you mention that if we top stitch before we should keep the lining out of it yes i did susan going to hang out in the hammock and watch the ending of the saya feel free to share <laughs> hammock is a dangerous place to be oh my gosh you guys my sister <laughs> my sister and i joke all the time about how we're getting old and just some things happen that we have no control over like you know sneezing and peeing our pants or falling at very random times and um Susan was out she had a story for me I have not belly laughed in so long she told me this story of her falling out of the hammock <laughs> I was laughing so hard because I could picture it in my head and it would told be something that would totally happen to me. I was laughing so hard. Susan, be careful. <laughs> it was kind of awesome. Oh. It's like falling when you're younger isn't a, as big of a deal, but when you get older and you fall, like you fall and it hurts. <laughs> and Susan falls a lot. <laughs> oh man. This is where you need a cylinder arm. I know, they have not called me back. I need to call them and be like, hey, is my machine ready? Like, I keep meaning to give them a call and my days slip away from me. I need to, uh, surely it's ready by now. I need to go pick it up.
Um, yeah, so if I were to make this bag again, guys, I would not top stitch it at the end. I would do it as I go. That's my two cents. Okie dokie. Oh man, guys. Did we do it? I think we did it. Just a second. Sorry. Let me. Okay. We did it. Um, I mean, the top stitching looks great. See the inside. It looks really good. Okay, we just have to put our zipper pull on here. And I'm not going to put on, well, I could put on the, I'm not gonna put on the zipper in cap on the video, but let's zipper up and then we'll quickly compare it to the normal size bag and then we'll be done. Yay! What a fun bag, guys. All right, I've got my lines lined up. Zoop. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, just a second. I am wearing total lounge clothes, sweats, all that kind of good stuff. So here we go. The joys of working from home. All right, you ready? So we've got Big Mama, Big Mama Overnight and Normal. That is quite the size difference, you guys. Look how much bigger this Overnight is. So there definitely is a big size difference, so be aware. But holy cow, what a gorgeous bag. I mean, kind of in love. I need to order more of this webbing for the crossbody strap. But that's it, guys. Yay! <laughs> Again, I did add on pockets to both sides. That's not in the pattern. So I did add on pockets to both sides. And yeah, guys, go grab this pattern. It is a great, great versatile tote. Awesome pull bag for the summer. Like that would be perfect for summer adventures. I think I might make one all in like canvas and nylon. Um, I think that would be kind of amazing. All right. I hope you all have a great weekend. Happy Easter if you celebrate and We'll see you later. Thanks for joining. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Bye.